Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about using panel loops rather than the extract function to create cloths such as you see here on this particular horse model. This is a really handy function that actually gives you a lot more detail than the extract function ever will. So I'm going to hide everything else so we just see the horse here and then I'm going to start deciding where I'm going to put my cloth. So we just hold down control and we drag onto the model and we start brushing in the size and position of where we want our cloth to be. I'm just going to do this roughly right here. Um, so we play around, we make it roughly this size and then we want to break up the edges a little bit. So holding down control and alt we can drag and put in some little tears, some little gaps in the mask basically. Um, obviously I'd advise that you take a little bit more care than I'm doing here when you're doing the real thing. This is just a demo after all. So once we have that and we're happy with our mask, normally you'd go down you'd hit the extract button and that will create a new piece of geometry using that mask but as you can see we've lost those internal tears and scratches uh, and the edge hasn't been resolved very well either. There are certain things you can do you can try uh, maybe undoing that and then changing your smoothing value and then trying to hit extract again and see if you get a better result but ultimately it's probably going to be very similar and if anything you lose more detail. So this isn't a very handy function although it is very common for people to use the extract function. So instead of this we're going to actually try and use poly loops instead. So I'm going to hit Control W on this mask to create a new poly group. Once I've done that I'll turn on poly frame so you can see it. We can hold down Control and Shift and then just click once on our new poly group uh, to see that on its own. And then we go down to Geometry, Modify Topology and Delete Hidden. I'll find that here. Delete Hidden. And then that gives us one solid piece of geometry which we can now run our panel loops on. So panel loops is really funky, you have lots of different options for it. I've just clicked it here and you see that there was absolutely no loss in, in detail on our model. Uh, you do have options for bevels and for smoothing and for various different things that you can play around with in here, the amount of loops on your edge etc. Um, I'm just going to undo this one a little bit and create a slightly thicker bevel, a slightly thicker panel loop so you can see what's happening and you can see there that we have a nice thick cloth like piece of geometry now. So for, for comparison purposes we had saved the earlier model, the extracted version. I'm just going to remove the mask here. So that's the extracted model. This is the poly loop extracted, poly loop. Um, and there's a huge difference between the two. You can see in the detail. So definitely, poly loop is the way to go uh, when creating cloth for future models. You can see the mask and the poly loop pretty much align. Hope this tip helps. See you in the next one. Bye.